part of our job, I think, as teachers is to both hit the craft and also uh, support, support the mystery, um, especially in the arts. You know, there's something there that you, you literally can't define. And if you define it, you kill it. And doing that is, you know, you, you find yourself, I find myself in the, in the studio talking a lot around ideas. You know, it's like you can't, you know, like if you say it, you kill it. So you have to kind of talk around things. Um, supporting things, you know, nurturing every little, every little ember that kind of comes along, a spark of an idea to, to get that going. Um, and so that's the part I think is probably a little bit more of, a, of an art, is finding those things that are distinctive to the, to the individual. Um, and the things that are distinctive to the individual are things that we've never seen before. And just humans as a species, we're resistant to the new. We're always resistant to the new. And so part of the job is, you know, a student will come up with something. It's like, wow, I've really never seen that before. We can't possibody do that. You know, it's like they should, we should steer them into something. Like, oh, wait, that's right. That's the valuable thing. Uh, and students are even worse in this way. You know, they think anything that I'm doing that's not like everybody else's, what everybody else is doing, you know, that's problematic. Um, so part of the goal for the teacher then is to, is to nurture that. It's like, yes, you really do want this stuff to be, to look very different, to have a, a distinctive voice in everything else that's out there. And that's really challenging, I think, for a student to hear because, again, we don't come from a culture that really supports it that much.